When the Body Says No, The Cost of Hidden Stress by Gabor Mate, M.D. is a profound exploration of the relationship between the psychological and emotional states of an individual and the onset of chronic physical diseases. Mare, a practicing physician with expertise in palliative care and addictions, delves into the complex interactions between the mind and the body, suggesting that emotional stress and an individual's psychological history can significantly influence their physical health. The book starts by highlighting the central premise that many chronic diseases such as cancer, autoimmune disorders, and heart disease may have their roots in emotional stress and trauma. Mate draws upon scientific research, including studies on stress physiology and psychoneuroimmunology, as well as case studies from his own medical practice, to support this contention. The book goes on to describe how chronic stress can manifest within the body as a physical disorder. Stress, particularly when it is chronic and not consciously perceived or managed, can lead to altered physiological responses. These include changes in hormone levels, suppression of the immune system, increased inflammation, and other harmful effects that predispose individuals to disease. One of Mate's critical observations is that certain personality traits may make people more susceptible to illness. He examines the characteristics of the stress-prone or type C personality, that is, individuals who are typically pleasers or are self-denying, taking on more than they can handle, suppressing emotions such as anger, and generally prioritizing the needs and desires of others above their own. These individuals often have a deep-seated belief, whether conscious or unconscious, that they are responsible for the emotional well-being of others, leading to a life of increased stress and decreased self-care. Mate stresses that emotional repression plays a significant role in the disease process. He discusses how many patients he has worked with have difficulties expressing their emotions, particularly negative ones like anger or sadness. This emotional repression has a psychophysiological cost. The book explains that the body and the mind are not separate entities and that emotions have tangible physical effects. When emotions are repressed, they can disrupt the body's balance, leading to vulnerabilities in the immune system and other bodily functions. Throughout, when the body says no, Mate interweaves patient stories with scientific data to illustrate these connections. One of the significant points made in the book is the impact of childhood experiences on long-term health. Adverse childhood experiences such as abuse, neglect, or witnessing domestic violence can have a detrimental impact on the stress response system and can affect an individual's health well into adulthood. Mate underscores that these experiences shape an individual's response to stress and can lead to both psychological and physiological dysregulation. Another important aspect discussed in the book is the concept of boundaries. Mate argues that a lack of healthy boundaries can contribute to the development of illness. People who struggle to set limits for themselves or to assert their needs are more likely to succumb to stress and, consequently, to illness. Learning to say no, therefore, is not only an important psychological skill, but a critical aspect of maintaining physical health. In discussing the treatment of chronic illness, Mate advocates for a more integrative and holistic approach. He suggests that while conventional medicine is adept at treating the symptoms and the immediate physical causes of disease, it often neglects the psychological and emotional factors that contribute to the development of illness. He calls for medical practitioners to consider a patient's life history, emotional landscape, and stress levels when diagnosing and treating medical conditions. One of the key messages conveyed in the book is the importance of self-awareness and emotional expression as tools for healing. Mate urges individuals to become more attuned to their emotional states, to recognize the signs of stress within their bodies, and to express emotions in healthy and constructive ways. He contends that this can help alleviate stress and potentially prevent or ameliorate the progression of chronic disease. The final chapters of When the Body Says No examine ways in which society needs to shift its approach to health and wellness. Mate calls for a reevaluation of cultural values that prioritize work and productivity over well-being and balance. He also discusses the need for compassionate policies and supportive communities that recognize the impact of emotional well-being on overall health. 
Dr. Gabor Mate's When the Body Says No effectively highlights the interconnection between the emotional and physical realms, challenging the reader to consider how hidden stresses and unresolved emotions can take a significant toll on the body. Through a combination of case studies, clinical evidence, and personal stories, Mate offers an enlightening perspective on the intricate dance between the psychological and the physiological, ultimately empowering readers to seek a greater balance and to prioritize their emotional health as a vital component of disease prevention and healing. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.